Hi Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to perform a end of uh, August reading. End of August 2024 for Leo consciousness. What Leos need to know around this time? Let's find out. Leo energy, sun moon rising. Please keep, um, keep in mind that uh, these are general readings. Uh, so it may or may not resonate uh, with you uh, though I uh, recommend you to watch your moon rising or any other placements that you think uh, that you think it can work for you okay so let's find out end of August energies happy birthday Leos by the way for those who are uh, still celebrating and happy belated uh, birthday to those who has uh, already celebrated their birthdays. Okay, so we begin with, uh, what was this one? Just a sec. Okay, so this is nine of wands. Oh, the world. I like the world card in this deck it's uh, called holy light tarot we have a ton of cups queen of discs and the judgment wow oh okay Leo Let's get into this. Nine of Wands, the World, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, you are like challenged with a particular practical idea coming from someone. The this idea that you are challenged uh, is uh, a bit frustrating you because, well, you would like to please the person and you like them. Actually, I mean, their uh, thoughts, their feelings, they, it's, it's like matter to you. But at the same time, it, it is very hard for you to take this change, to rebuild something. Uh, and so far, so far, uh, you have come to a point where you already maybe, you have already made some brave changes that things uh, uh, that you wouldn't maybe even, um, that you wouldn't even um, think that this, this type of changes would exist, but you have already made some changes. Um, but this this is like last thing, last thing, the last one. You want to make this change or this reorganization uh, with someone who truly matters to you. Uh, your family relationships um, and the people as you know uh, as as family. Maybe also. Uh, subjected to this change so it's gonna create definitely um, some changes in other people's lives as well so it's like uh, you are now f giving like your last judgment around this thing you should maybe normally if you would have done this type of change like seven eight years ago it it could be maybe easier for you okay but now the quality of the time uh, maybe is a bit challenging one so yeah seven eight years ago maybe this would be different for you i'm getting some uh, desta cards oh leo i see here some kind of a public ap appearance like um declaration to the others let's say your public how you name 
your public but there is some declaration sometimes uh, well it's not that some something like uh, everyone is a celebrity but it can be even like to going to some kind of a, a governmental place and like signing something you know or a um, institution that you declare yourself openly to the public like let it be known that from now on you know something like that and um, this is really changing the doors uh, the the doors of the path um, that uh, you are now walking I see here's uh, a Sagittarius energy uh, Scorpio um, I also see uh, earth sign energy as well um, I feel uh, you don't want like you know whatever you go through in the end you don't want your heart like to close off uh, you don't want something to be bitter to go bitter for you like yes I can imagine you maybe you maybe want to you know think of the that scenario that everyone uh, can be happy in the end but uh, well maybe this is not really possible but uh, you know there can be this feeling of uh, I don't want to make it bitter I don't want to make it sad kind of thing as well uh, so this is also uh, another thing now uh, to me um, a particular situation has really brought uh, maturity in your life um, there has been instances in which you have maybe uh, felt that your freedom around something has been uh, narrowed down or uh, uh, like beca become limited but uh, at least with the things that you have gained that time it was a source of happiness for you so when you thought about um, some maybe sacrifices you make those sacrifices because in the end it made the hearts open happy maybe there was something in the family energy um, like it was like a prosperous star uh, but now um, now that phase is uh, is is over so this is like a more um, this is like a situation which is um, gonna actually open you up in the later phases of life it's just like a transitional phase and um, if you have to go to do some chaos in order to uh, like co to concentrate something later that you would like to do in the future you you are now like taking this chaos or this uh, chaotic situation so it seems uh, um, you can take it now although it is actually showing and expressing uh, like an extreme co contrast with uh, with your ego maybe you know when we look at it from the ego wise it's really challenging your ego the things that you identify with um, I see you here like a, a technician uh, if I uh, you know if I uh, uh, figure out an archetype for you. I see you uh, like a technician trying to stru structure the time and the space around uh, her or him. And um, and in the end, like you're gonna put your scripture like Leo was here, you know. So um, yeah, it's like there is some kind of a heritage maybe you want to create. I see here like if you have children or young figures that you are uh, involving with uh, they are important for you at this time uh, I see here you try to leave a legacy or uh, start to uh, form uh, things which may be like a legacy 
uh, it's like in this legacy everything is like very much uh, compromising um, it's like your personal catalog and um, yeah this is like your personal maybe it's like some time capsule by the way I, I don't know if I'm channeling this now but one of you or some of you maybe is preparing these time capsules <laughs> which will be open like maybe uh, like 50 years later <laughs> 40 or 30 I don't know um, so yeah uh, a lot of ideas are playing out but all these things you know something uh, someone has initiated uh, these um, and um, like someone really challenging the way that you have operated so far and you know they call the uh, soul of the world anima mundi right and this is uh, where the deep heart of the earth uh, lies um, and it supports the root chakra of our bodies so um, it's like you how to say you are like changing the anima mundi of your own life and uh, lots of things will be like re re uh, changing that there is this one last final uh, judgment you have to make and um, I see here a caring person who really cares about the practical aspects of your life and they uh, help you to change or encourage you to change this uh, anima mundi of your world or this common world you uh, are building together uh, like building a new uh, cosmic reality and from now on the cosmic reality uh, will be different for you I mean the world the judgment right so um, something is uh, unfolding in front of you and um, as a person who has very practical considerations for this wants to support challenging you to make this change um, there is also the world energy is also that the uh, historical wisdom in our D DNA that we bring this world like the wisdom we carry in our uh, DNA our, um, uh, which has like passed over like uh, experience after experience so so I feel here like there is some kind of a teaching here that you want to pass, you want to apply, you want to give to uh, this new setting of your life. I, If you have children, by the way, there is like a lot of things you want to pass down to them, I do feel. I feel life is like showing you, you know, there is this yod, they say, the uh, finger of God. Like some, there is, a, there is a sign and it is like showing you a direction there. Uh, and um, and uh, this is actually going to lead you to the thing that you crave most that you do not know yet maybe but it is there it is uh, waiting for you um, Uh, that has been a very strong place. I don't know if you were like working for this place before. Uh, a place that you are working for is also undergoing some change maybe. Or there is a very strong place or a foundation. Uh, and you are like, um, I don't know, for some Leos maybe gonna go for some job, you know, changes. And... Uh, they have to give a good uh, impression there 
uh, I see you like being very passionate also you know this is not something like my next job my next home my n n next uh, uh, partner this is not something like this is not the next this is like something um, which is gonna be very long term for you you know it's not that next big thing this is the big thing you know it is the big thing this is the big thing Leo and uh, I think you are uh, at the center of this um, I want to get uh, from the this mini oracle energy I want to get three cards uh, to highlight some also uh, relationship influences By the way, you will be really uh, coming acro across with very powerful partners and people for the next 20 years. And uh, they are going to really change your identity, uh, challenge, challenge you. And it's like bringing you uh, new dynamics. And if you like want to this partnership, and the things, the resources they bring, everything, talents, capabilities, resources, they, they are light. Uh, it's like uh, you also need to change, like in order to walk with them. So I see here like a person like that, like maybe coming back like one last time also to offer this change. Uh, there is a person here that um, who is coming back who is coming back and they are holding this camera like you know as, as a symbolism they have memories there uh, or this is like a, something that we keep records of things and having a looking at them once again learning from the past learning from the memories learning from the um, mistakes letting it to change our uh, perception perspective so there is this camera really headed towards you there are things that needs to fade away uh, there are things that we need to let go of in order to liberate from and uh, taking a transition taking a change um, some past elements has to stay in the past they are not coming to the future with us but their echo their echo the things we learn from them yes they are with us they are even like in our now but some things are not with us from now on and it's like we are welcoming uh, a new open space uh, you can be meeting with the one and uh, unless you leave the some past elements uh, you cannot take this change like there is there is uh, there is there is a person here who is saying are you with me i have the heart i have the key Let's, let's get everything together. Welcome. But let's take this change. There is someone like a super passionate here to make these changes with you. Yes, they, they, are, they are the one. They are the one. Uh, this is a complete new life, new beginning. And uh, some of you will be, uh, I feel like, newly meeting with them. Some, some Leos are literally uh, waving goodbye. Some people literally leaving cities behind, making really serious changes and following a path um, towards to a person who will welcome them like in a new life setting. The judgment is also the second life here. Yes, Leo, like 
this is really uh, challenging to your all fixed sign qualities but this is like I am I am on it now like I am on it now I can't go back this change has begun the only thing I can do now is to follow that and there is no like turning back so uh, thank you very much for uh, tuning in Leo uh, I hope uh, uh, this is gonna lead you to a new path with new adventures with new people um, there is a lot of uh, change in the social scenery by the way really um, so if the energy is there uh, it's better to uh, experience that thank you so much I will speak to you in the next readings bye bye